Is there a way to stretch your dollar, especially if you've hit your first million? Let's find out more from Evrad Bordier, CEO of Bordier ACA, a private bank here in Singapore and Geneva. Well, very nice to see you. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Hello, Chloe. So what should investors do once they've hit their first million and they want to stretch it to their second million and perhaps uh, beyond? Well, what is the first piece of advice you would tell a client? Well, the first thing that they should do really is only a stepping stone. The, the, the first million should be uh, what is required to make your second million, really. Mm. So you should invest it to make a second million either in your business or in, in what you're good at. Uh, obviously, you want to... So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a milestone that you have to do. Um, if you want to spend some uh, some assets, then you should really f settle and, and consolidate your base, which is pay your mortgages, pay, uh, 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 buy your, your, your house completely, uh, settle any debt that you have, credit card debt, anything, friends that you owe money to, and really consolidate your base. And then if you have passed this, this, uh, this step there, you can go on to your second million, and then uh, uh, then you can do other investments. So you can uh, start investing in the financial markets, you can buy uh, secondary properties, but you have to go into yielding assets. So you want basically not that your income pays for your, for, for, for your running expenses uh -huh. of your life, you want basically that your income is, is, is derived from assets that you own. Yeah, so, but in this negative environment, <laughs> we've got so many <laughs> government bond yields in negative territory going lower and lower. What are you advising your clients right uh, now? So on the <laughs> on portfolio, uh, and and, and equities and, and the financial market is very, very difficult today. Yes, exactly. So probably good people go more on equity, onto hedge funds, and they would not go into fixed income instruments. Or if they do, they go in very long, long, uh, and they, they play the curve. So, uh, uh, but I would say that at the beginning, when you're a second million, then you would really try to buy a secondary property, buy an income generating asset. So it could be also uh, operating companies, buy a private equity deal with a, uh, in a company that you think is very good with a friend or someone you know. Uh, it's only then that you can start uh, collecting things that are more for fun, such as art or uh, um, uh, luxury. So in luxury, you could buy some really good watches, something that stays always in terms of pricing, such as Patek Philippe, mm. which is recognized as the best watchmaker right, right. Uh, there is. Or if you go to art, then I would suggest that you buy uh, pieces of art of, of uh, artists that are not like Monet or <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have the price. <laughs> you don't have the, you don't have the, the, the wealth to do that. Not yet yet. <laughs> but you can go into uh, uh, new artists. I think China is very interesting. Uh, you could go to buy some pieces for, from Li Chen or from Xia Xiaowen in China, which are upcoming artists. But art is so controversial because some people say that Chinese art is just a complete a bubble territory. Uh, it's because true, it's because uh, you just don't can't because you just can't buy anything anymore with even even mid range names. And that said, people are also saying the same thing or something similar about Southeast Asian artists, especially some Indonesian artists. So how do you really place value? Given that I know you're a big art buff. Well, you 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 have to study the people that uh, that you like, the artists that you want to, to, to acquire. And then you also uh, have uh, uh, neutral elements such as Sotheby's and Christie's. So if they've mm -hmm. gone already into those sales uh, and you inquire a little bit and you, and you, you can find it on the web, you can find it on, 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 on all the, uh, the books of, uh, uh, of the auctions, then it gives you a base of understanding of whether this, this artist is actually known or not known. Because otherwise everybody says they are upcoming, they're great, they're wonderful actually. It's so the there's got to be some So it has to be some, some solid uh, elements to show you that they are. You can see some artists also having uh, uh, presented their art in uh, international places, such as in France or in the UK, then they are more renowned than the Indonesian artist who has been just been in Jakarta. So, right. So it's with, you can see that through the books and the brochures they have, because you will know whether they have presented their artwork somewhere else. Yeah, and watches. Some say also it is uh, overstated. I was recently talking to Christie's and they were saying, aside from Patek Philippe, all of your Rolex watches, that is not really going to inflate in terms of value. Is that no, true? It is. Well, it depends. Again, there are some limited editions, there are some special collections, but it's true that on the, on the watchmaking, I think Patek is at the top and normally retains always its value. It's recognized globally. But if you take smaller, uh, uh, smaller uh, people trying to do watches and, uh, you know, uh, smaller companies, then you don't know if they'll be there in five years, in ten ah. years. So it's it's a higher risk. So that is only really when you have enough money that you don't need to worry about the fact that it's going to go in value up or down. So and just quite quickly going back to rule number one, pay off your mortgage. Would you buy property now in Singapore? I would. I actually I'm, I, I was considering I'm considering <laughs> buying property because the price will come down. But it's it's it's. 
the question is, did it continue to come down? Uh, it plateaued, but it's, it's expensive, uh, and, uh, and, and indeed it's a, it's a difficult one. So I would pay my mortgage, buy a new property, a second property, then, then maybe I would put it a bit on hold for now. First got to pay your mortgage, and then you move on to other assets, yes. and then it comes financial instruments, because a lot of people do it the other way, right? Well, very nice to see you, Gong Si Fa Choi, uh, Evra Bordier, CEO of Bordier NCA, telling us about the art of spending, how to stretch your first million into second million and beyond.